There you go. We finally got her done after three and a half, three and three quarter days. Got the top installed, ready for Bill to get his, uh, right Bill? Are you happy? Absolutely. You sure? Yes. Did Peter J do a good job? Fantastic. All the way from Southwest Rodney? That's right. In Texas? Oh my God. <laughs> we got your, uh, I went ahead and made a panel for your uh, sequencer for your nice custom tail lights. What are you thinking of tail lights, buddy? I love them. I know you did a beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. Got the whole car put together. All Bill's got to do now is wire it up, get it painted, and uh, I guess you will see you at the next car show. Yeah, I'm going to try. You never know. I'm hoping I should be by next year. Well, what do you think, Larry? Are you worn out? We're ready to move it. Are you worn out? I'm worn out. You ready to go home and take a week's vacation? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I need. <laughs> got the console made. That looks nice, huh, Bill? Yeah. You like your console? Yeah. Okay. Let's look at that amplifier just to show everybody how you can oh, hide yeah, stuff. Sure that. Pete's got all his tools loaded, ready to go back home. Look at that. It's saying Texas on him all over. Look, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. What I did, I made a bracket right there and welded it in. It's where she can remove your amp. And that's a good idea if you have a big amplifier that you put in your car. And those panels over there is going to be removed, removable. So. Car's looking good. What do you think, Bill? Did we do a good job for you? That's a that was a surprise. Right? Was it? Oh yeah. I like because, that idea. Well, because you're not tying up your trunk or nothing. You got all that open for your trunk. You got a perfect spot for it. It's not going to jiggle around or nothing. You know. Yeah. You have no problem with that. And it's it's South Lake Mountain that works there. It's not a fan. The Southwest Rod Engineer. Just like the latches. <laughs> the latches, but yeah, yeah. Show me the latches. You like how I did that? Yeah, yeah. We'll get that other section going. Once you get all your top together, look, buddy, it'll all stretch out, see? And then, of course, Bill, he did a nice job of getting those top covers. Those look nice. What we did, we went to Lowe's, and the latches I use, if you can zoom in a little bit, look. if you notice, when they're, they're basically like an old style Corvette top, right? And these only cost $3.50, and it comes with the bottom here and the top. There's a lot of people out there, they're going, what the hell, how am I going to mount that? So what I did, I made a little bracket here, and then of course I welded this. Now you don't want to install that on your convertible top until after you get the top on, because the top's going to wrap around. Because if you notice, this, it'll probably be sitting approximately right there. So if I do it now, and it latches down tight like this, you see what I mean, Bill? Yeah. We're kind of screwed. Absolutely. Because then you're going to have to take it off, and you know, that's about where it's going. I made him a spacer plate just in case he needs to get that put on there. I don't think he's going to need it because the material is going to fill all that in. And uh, those are nice handy. Those are stainless steel, matches his column. And yeah, that's really good. You did a lot of work, dude. I did a lot that. of work, buddy. I did. And that's about it. So, uh, three and a half days, Lake Cavasu. Well, almost four days now. After this little one. Took a while to put that top together. And I'm ready to go home, buddy. I'm tired. Not on the You should be tired. Hey Bill. Yeah. So everything's rolling, right? Absolutely. Thank Are you happy? Very much. Well, one for sure. sure. Come on. Everything's cool. Sure. Right? Yes. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Right. I appreciate it. All right. I hope you get it. What's up? I'm going to give it a shot. I really appreciate it. I just want to watch. You know how much. I got to get it. Okay, buddy. Well, there you go, Larry. That's it. Another job done, another day, another dollar. Down the road, let's go. Hang it up, let's go. Back it up and get down the road. Get them on home. Well, there you go. Three and a half days. Street Beast Cabriolet body unroller, which includes mounting the body, cutting all the fiberglass out, mounting the body fiberglass in the body, hanging the doors, putting all the front end parts on, putting in the wire harness, air conditioning unit, steering column, deck lid, remote entry uh, trunk, okay, and all the little miscellaneous other stuff I did. But you know, I worked my ass off, and 
That's just something I've always known all my life. But you know what? I couldn't have done that in three and a half fucking days if it wasn't for my pal Larry and my new buddy Bill. And I just want to tell Bill out there, okay, you did a hell of a job on that car. And I know for a fact it's going to be a show winner. And not just a show winner, it's going to be a fucking driver, okay? Ain't no trailer queens coming out of Southwest Rod Custom, buddy. You can remember that. So, Pat turned out to be a hell of a guy. And, you know, do me a favor, Bill. Okay, out there in Wonderland, out in Lake Havasu, out there in vacation country, USA. Tell all the boys at the Elk Lodge, uh, Brother Pete's going to miss them. So I had a hell of a time out there. And hope to come back and see you again. So, uh... On the way home we go, job's done. We got her done, we're getting her done. Get her done, got her done. Me and Larry head back to Dallas. We get home, and start it all over again. Take it easy, this is Pete, Southwest Rock Custom. You can catch me at 972-420-1293. Or you can check out my website at southwestrodandcustom.com. Peace, love, and happy.